morning. Welcome to the Falcon Report. My name is Tyler. The stories are Interview with Mrs. Jones and Student Goals for 2015. Hi, I'm Ashlyn and I'm here with Ms. Jones. Can you tell us what the character trait for January is? Thank you, Ashlyn, so much for asking. The character trait for January is True Grit, which is perseverance. What does true grit really mean? Okay, true grit really means that when the going gets tough, the tough get going. That means that if you have a setback, you're trying something new, and it doesn't go well for you, you don't get mad and throw a temper tantrum, or you don't give up. You just say, oh, I'm learning and I keep on trying. Or maybe sometimes in your life something didn't go so well at home. You don't get mad and come to school you, and say, oh, my life is horrible. You're like, I'm going to enjoy life even though I've had a little setback. What, what are acts of true grit? Okay, I'm going to give you an example of a very famous person. Michael Jordan was a famous basketball player. I think many of you have heard of him. Do you know that in high school he wanted to be a pro basketball player? But he didn't even make the high school basketball team the first time he went out. So he says that instead of giving up, he kept practicing over and over and over again and he finally made the basketball team and then he kept practicing some more and as we know he didn't give up he became one of the most famous basketball players in the world um, and a personal example for me was when I was high school I really wanted to go to college we were very poor I figured out a way to go to college and I went away to college and I never regretted it although I was the first one in my whole family and all my cousins to go to college because I did that they all decided many of them decided they could go to college too. How, why do we need true grit in our school? We need true grit because we're finding that we are always encouraging students to be college and career ready and those students who graduate from high school the ones who are most successful aren't always the smartest, but they are the ones who have worked the hardest and decided to take on new challenges. We're also, we also know that's true in jobs and careers, that the most successful people aren't the ones who it just comes easy to, but they are the people who work really hard. How can we develop true grit? Take on things that are hard for you. Eleanor Roosevelt was a famous um, wife of a president, and she wrote a book about try doing hard things, one new hard thing every single day. Or if you can't do a hard thing every day, try doing at least 25 hard things in a year. Make a list and start with the things that are easiest for you and challenge yourself a little bit. If you try something new, for example, you wanna play an instrument, if you don't get it right the first time, that's okay, just keep practicing till you get better. Or for keyboarding, some people have a hard time learning how to keyboard. The way to get better is to practice, practice. A little bit every day, you don't have to kill yourself. That's how you can develop true grit. This has been very interesting, thank you. Thank you for asking me. My name is Porter and I'm in first grade. My goal is to read a chapter book. What is one of your goals before the end of the year? To finish all my homework. Thank you. What is one of your goals before the end of the year? To memorize the multiplication facts. Thank you. What is one of your goals before the end of the year? To get the Golden Falcon Award. Thank you. What is one of your goals before the end of the year? To graduate NOVA. Thank you. Hi, I'm back again to give you the announcements for this week. School breakfast in the cafeteria has begun and starts at 8.20 to, to 8.40. Students must be in the cafeteria at before or 8.40 unless their bus is late. Go directly and don't wander in the halls. Remember to follow the snow rules to be safe, respectful, and responsible. No sliding on ice, no throwing snowballs, no going on the hill, no playing in puddles in the cafeteria, and be sure to dress warmly. Thank you.